visions, demons, houses getting sucked into the ground. How does anyone know what's real around here? We haven't even told you half of what's gone down in this town over the last couple of years, man. Mama, please tell me Hank's exaggerating. If only I could, Neil. Well, I know one thing that's for real and it's gonna last forever. My love for Sheridan and her love for me. And Luis, I'm sorry that I accused you of trying to make a move on the woman I love. I know you'd never do anything that low. Oh, this is a... What? Another word, mother. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? If you do or say anything to alert Antonio about Luis and Sheridan's relationship, you will regret it for the rest of your life. So now you are threatening your poor defenseless mother. You are not poor and you're not defenseless. Oh. And I swear to God, I wish you weren't my mother. I mean it. If you blow <gasps> this secret wide open, you're never going to see our house again. I'll drive you straight to the nursing home tonight. No passing go, no collecting $200. You wouldn't do that. Hmm? Oh, wouldn't I? And I'm not talking the expensive deluxe wing at Sweet Serenity. Uh-uh. No, because I have checked into it. And they have got some bargain basement accommodations. As a matter of fact, they're in the basement. Oh! And uh, there's not much light, but that's okay. You don't really want any light, because all you'd be seeing were the screen, rats, and all the wheelchairs full of droolers. Huh? Is that where you want to spend the rest of your days? Hmm? Up to you. doing in here? What's wrong? Daddy, what happened? <laughs> Daddy. What's wrong? I've never seen you cry before. Sweetheart, nothing's wrong. Everything is okay. Everything's not okay. Something terrible must have happened. Is Mama right? Your mother's fine, honey. She's fine. Sweetheart, just forget that you ever saw me this way. Everything is fine. Everything's not fine, Daddy. I want you to tell me what's wrong. Not bad, Hecuba. I don't believe this. A compliment from my arch rival. Hecuba! I wouldn't bandy names about if I were you. Your mother, if you had one, should have named you Heliuba. Hecuba's far too tame. I would laugh if that were funny. So, do you want to see more misery and mayhem or not? I do. Very well, then. Well, after what I've been through, a bolt of electricity to the head would be a welcome change. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is everything all right? Yeah, it's just, you know, the mother-daughter <laughs> thing. It's okay. Yeah, hunky-dory. <laughs> Good. Well, I was afraid that all this tension we're feeling had gotten to the two of you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's fine, Flora. Really. Oh, Good. Good, I'm glad. Thank you for being so understanding, huh? 
Yeah. You're a wonderful young woman. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> I better get back to okay. Louise. Yeah, right. Of course. Yes. Of course, Pilar. <laughs> Oh, it must be killing Luis to watch Antonio falling all over the one he loves. Mijo. Oh. I know how difficult this must be for you. You know, I really wish you would stop saying that. Because nobody has any idea of the pain I'm going through, okay? Where are you going? Uh, my leg. It's, it's, it's got a cramp in it. Uh, you know what, didn't um, Dr. Russell give you some pills to take if you got one of those headaches? <laughs> yeah, but I don't even know where they are. Well, you know what, I do. They're in the bedroom. I will be right back. <laughs> you see why I'm crazy about her? Yes. Yes, she is very special. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh... Look, Luisa, it still doesn't give me an excuse for saying what I said to you earlier. Yeah. But just forget it, okay? Forget that I accused you of making a move on the woman I love. I'm not sure that I can. It was a lousy thing to do, and I just I just want to tell you that I apologize, okay? I mean, I've, I've been on lately. Maybe I just hit overload. I, I've been trying to do too much since I got out of the hospital. Yeah. If we can just forget about it and put it all behind us, it'd be great. I know you'd never do anything lousy to, to Beth or me. So will you accept my apology? <clears throat> Whit, you're making too big of a deal out of this. I, nothing's wrong. I just got something in my eye, that's all. Daddy, don't lie to me, please. Something about that trophy made you cry. <sighs> Sweetheart, nothing's wrong. Everything is okay. It's a tennis trophy. All these are tennis trophies. One by Julian Crane. Long, long time ago. I just happened to walk in here by accident, and uh, this room just, just took me by surprise past has a way of doing that to you but you'll find out someday but sweetheart really it's really no big deal you could have fooled me honey it's the truth it, it, so what did you want to talk to me about oh listen honey if you want to talk about your tennis schedule next week i know it's really heavy um i don't want to talk to you about tennis i wanted to talk about chad Simone and me. Get away from me! Somebody help! help! Dr. Russell, are you okay? Dr. Russell, wake up! Can you hear me? Oh, thank God. Oh, my God, what happened? I don't, I don't know. I was just out here getting some air, and your mother came up behind me calling my name. And when I could turn around to, to answer her, she just freaked out. What do you mean, freaked out? I don't know. She looked at me and screamed like she was scared. And then she backed away, and I, I tried to stop her from falling. And she just passed right out. Oh, Mom. Mom, please be okay. Mom, please, please wake up, wake up. Please, Mom, please. Please. Where's a good doctor when you need one? <laughs> you love your sister. No, I do. So why are you so worried about her dating Chad? To tell you the truth, I haven't seen her happier than she's been the last few days. I know. Sweetheart, at first I was skeptical about giving her permission to date Chad. But then when I thought about it, I thought it was all right. I mean, Simone is special. She needs to feel appreciated by Chad. And Chad turned out to be a fine young man. I'm just sorry that I sold him short for so long. I want Simone to be happy, too. Sweetheart, I know you do. And it's only natural. Because you've always been an overprotective sister. 
I'm going to tell you something that your mother and I have always worried about is how much attention I give you because of your tennis. Now I think it's nice that Simone is finally coming to her own. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. I mean, what if the one thing that was making Simone so happy disappeared? You know, what if she suffered some sort of letdown? Sweetheart, nothing bad can happen to your sister. I mean, she's young, she's in love for the first time. I mean, things couldn't be better for her right now. I'm, I'm just saying, what if something does go wrong? I mean, Simone is young. She doesn't have any experience with boys. So what if she does get her heart broken? I mean, she wouldn't know what to do. Daddy, are you listening to me? Poor oh, Whitney. She's trying to tell her father about her and Chad, but he doesn't want to hear it. <laughs> Why is that, Hecuba? Maybe because he's got too many other big problems on his plate right now, or too big an investment in Whitney's tennis career. It is, after all, the career he never got to have. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, honey. You were talking about Simone getting hurt. You know how vulnerable Simone can be in some ways, right? <laughs> and, and volatile. I think she gets that anger trait from me. Always lashing out without even thinking. God knows I'm guilty of that. My father was too. You hardly ever talk about him. <laughs> Your grandfather was a, a decent man. He did everything he could for his family and for me. And sweetheart, if I push you too hard, it's because that's what he did for me. He wanted me to go pro so bad. That... And what happened when it didn't work out the way that he wanted? The accident. That accident broke a few of my bones, but it completely broke my father. He was never the same after that. It cost me this trophy, Whit. But it cost him his life. No wonder you don't talk about it. So much more that you and your baby sister don't know. Maybe it's time to let you in on a old family secret. Whoo! TC's cagey, all right, even if he doesn't realize what he's doing. Now, Whitney won't be able to tell him about her and Chad without feeling terribly hard. <laughs> what old family secret, Daddy? Tell me. What do you say, Luis? How about we put this stuff behind us and get on with our lives, huh? Of course your brother forgives you, Antonio. It was an honest mistake. That's good. I'm glad. Because I want my number one brother to be my best man at the wedding. Not to mention that I want Beth and you to be the godparents of mine and Sheridan's children. I wouldn't have it any other way. You know, I'm going to go help Sheridan find your medication. in here. Wake up, Mom. Tell me and Chad what happened. 
She's, she's not responding. I think you better go find your father. You're right. He'll know what to do. He always knows what to do. Wake up, Dr. Russell. Why'd you look at me like you've seen a ghost? Maybe I shouldn't tell you. Don't hold out on me now, Danny. Simone and I always knew that there was something more to your knee injury than you said. But every time that we would want to ask you, Mom would say that it's best not to say anything. She was always trying to protect me. But you already know how much my father wanted me to be a success. I know that he worked very hard to provide for his family. He sacrificed in ways you girls will never understand. Life for an African-American back then was tough. Your grandfather was a proud man. A proud man who had to humble himself every day to people who didn't necessarily give a damn about him. Just so he could make ends meet. Just so he could put food on our table every night. That must have been so hard for him. My mama used to cry every day. She knew how much my father had to bow and scrape around all those people who didn't even respect him. Damn it, I hated that uniform they made him wear. You know, my father, he was a good looking brother and he was dressed up in his own clothes on the days he was off. I wish I remembered him more. So do I, honey. So do I. But my father did everything that he could to provide for us. My father worked three jobs just to make ends meet. And he almost lost one of those jobs trying to get me into an all-white country club to practice on their nice, pristine courts. <laughs> because he didn't want me working out on a local playground because they want regulation. Wow. That's how bad he wanted me to win this, baby. That's how bad he wanted me to win this. But when I couldn't on the day of that tournament, it was the worst 24 hours of his life. Pop, it's not fair. If I didn't have this banged up knee, that tournament would have been mine. You're right, son. If you'd been able to play in the finals, I know you could have beat Julian Crane. And Julian knew it, too. He knew that he could never beat T.C. Russell. And it galled him because you were black. That's why I know that my car accident was no accident, Pop. I know Julian was behind it. He put me out of the finals so that he could win. But I'm not going to let him win. Uh, as soon as this knee holds, I'm going back to the courts. And I'll beat him eventually. One of these days, I will own that trophy. Pop, what's wrong? Son, I don't know how to tell you this. Tell me what? I talked to the doctor. And he said, he said that your knee injury is a lot worse than we thought. He said that you'll never be able to play tennis again. Your career in tennis is over, son. No! Do this here, not now with your brother right in the next room. I don't give a damn who's in the next room. I love you, right? We need to be together, especially now. I know, and I'm sorry. I know that you wanted to tell him tonight. Yeah, I was gonna tell him when he said he realized why we we're in each other's arms. 
I thought he'd figured it out. I know, so did I. He just can't believe that the two people he loves most in the world would ever betray him. This is not a betrayal. Well, Sheridan, go, look, we were together first. We were meant to be together now. And, you know, I don't know how much longer I can stand watching you with him. Look, Luis, I know. I mean, I care about Antonio as a person, but every time he touches me, I, I just want to cry out that it's you I'm in love with. Yes. That's why we have to do what we set out to do. Look, best mother was right. Yes, the truth is going to hurt him in the short run, but the lie is going to be worse over the long haul. We've got to clear the air tonight. <sighs> Luis, I'm just so afraid. Well, I'm even more afraid of what's going to happen if we don't tell the truth. Sheridan, come on, how long can we run around pretending that we're not in love? And, and how long can we steal kisses behind closed doors? I can't live like this anymore. Well, I can't live with the fact that our love could end your brother's life. So what are you saying? I'm saying that I don't... I don't think that we should see each other anymore. I just don't think we should see each other anymore. This is crazy. I love you. And you love me. Okay, but what, if this is some kind of joke, all right? No. It's not funny. Luis, I'm dead serious. And it kills me to even say this. But I just don't see what other choice we have. I mean, this sneaking around is making both of us miserable. And Antonio has already caught us more than once together. Tonight could have killed him. Yeah, we didn't. Okay, yeah, it shook him up a little when he saw us together, but he didn't kill him. It was luck. Or maybe it was God giving us a warning. Either way, next time we might not get a second chance. All right, so... What, your answer to all this is that we we just break up? No, no, honey, I'm not saying that at all. I, I love you with all of my heart. I just, I don't think we should see each other for the time being. For how long? As long as your brother's in such a precarious physical condition. He doesn't even know he's sick. All the more reason to not arouse his suspicions. I mean, Dr. Russell told us what could happen if he had a major shock, and I don't want that on my shoulders, and neither do you. You know, it's, it's hard enough that I have to see you and pretend that you're my brother's fiance, and now I don't get to see you at all. It's not the way that we are. You know, sneaking kisses behind corners, closed doors. It's just gonna kill me. Not to be able to, to hold you and touch you and to be with you. I... Sure, you can't do this to me. I don't want to, but it's the only thing I can think of. Look, I know it's a lot to ask. Hey, you two. Did you get lost in there or what? On, I gotta go. Sharon, come on, I'm please. I'm sorry, Luis. I have to go. Please. Please. So sorry. Well, I guess this is where you came in. You wanted to know what was bothering me. So now you do. It's these trophies. Every last one of these damn trophies. It should have been mine. And it would have been if it wasn't for that accident. That one bad night that wasn't even an accident. Stripped me of everything that my father had worked for. It stole his dreams. It was like he was being mugged in a dark alley from everything that even mattered to him. You look at this and you see a trophy. I look at this and I see a murder weapon. I know why you're dying, Pop. All your hopes, all your expectations, 
Your dreams for me have been shattered. The accident took away my tennis career, and now it's taking your will to live. He's taking it. Julian, I know it, Pop. I know it was him. I know he's responsible. I know he was driving the car. And I don't care how long it takes. I'll get what I need to find out that he was behind it. And I'll make him pay. He'll pay. Whitney, that's why I push you so hard. That's why it seems like I have a one-track mind all the time. It's because I want you to do what I never could do. Nothing is going to stand in your way of a tennis career. Nothing at all. Do you hear me? I still don't get it. Does TC know what Whitney wants to tell him about her and Chad? On some level, yes. Only he knows that once the cat's out of the bag, it'll be an end to Whitney's career. And, well, <laughs> he can't abide that. <laughs> Not after what happened to his own career. But if he loves his daughter, why doesn't he want her to be happy? Well, he thinks she will be, if she's the next Serena or Venus Williams. His mind is playing a kind of trick on him. It's telling him that if his daughter succeeds where he failed, it will right the wrong that killed his father. Yes, but what TC doesn't realize is that he's playing right into our plans for him and his neighbors in harmony. He doesn't know it yet, but because of his fear of losing Whitney to Chad, he's helping to keep my tragic love triangles alive and kicking. <laughs> oh, Whitney, Simone and Chad don't have a prayer. If you'll pardon my French of being happy, thanks to me and my unwitting accomplice, T.C. <laughs> Open your eyes. It's me, Chad. Everything's going to be okay. Why won't you wake up? Oh, my sweet daughter. Such a beautiful boy. Yes, you are. And you're all right. Oh, my baby's fine. <sighs> Julian? Is that you? Who are you? Who are you? What are you doing? He's taking my baby! No! My baby! My baby! No! My son. My baby. My baby. What have they done to my baby? done to you. My poor baby. My poor, poor baby. What did they do to your face? But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because I'm a doctor and I can take care of it. I'm going to make everything up to you. I, I wish I could have kept them from taking you from the hospital, but I couldn't. But everything's going to be fine now. So you, you don't worry. Don't worry. Mommy will make it all better. I pray for you every night, Whitney. I pray that you will pick up where I left off. You mean with tennis? Of course in tennis, sweetheart. You have a chance to have a much better life than your grandfather ever had. You have a chance to succeed where I failed. Daddy, please. Answered prayer for me. 
knowing that your grandfather's hopes and dreams won't die along with him. Honey, you can win. You could win every trophy in this room. You're a champion, Whitney. I've known it for years. You'll win Wimbledon, the U.S. Open, the Olympics, anything you set your mind to. Maybe the sky is the limit. Do it for your grandfather, sweetheart. Do it in the honor of your grandfather. Talk about a guilt trip. <laughs> Does TC know how to do it or what? <laughs> Nothing like a parent putting a little pressure on a child. But I thought you said he loved her. No, he does. He has no idea what a burden he's putting on her. If he realized, he'd stop straight away. That's a good thing for us he doesn't. <laughs> because with a little more help from us, the Russell's lives are going to turn into a living hell. <laughs> you never did get that glass of water, did you? I can get the water myself. I mean, come on. Dr. Russell said I'm not even sick, remember? I know, but, you know, you did faint tonight, and I would feel much better if you took your pills. All right. Although, there is one problem. It says do not take on an empty stomach and I barely ate anything at the party tonight. Well, then let's go back to the party. Take your medication there. Well, I'm kind of tired, Luis. I think I'll just stay in here, have a little supper with Sheridan, then we'll hit the sack. Well, what do you say I go back up uh, to the main house, huh? I'll get everyone something to eat myself. Be right back. Luis, uh, thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> I'm just gonna... Be with her. I just want to be alone with her and spend some time. That's it. You know how it is. This is it, Elizabeth. Louise is never going to be able to leave them alone tonight. Never. Look at him. He's about ready to pop. <laughs> what do you say? I don't know why you'd want to stick around here anyway. I mean, you've got a beautiful woman of your own to spend some time with. <laughs> Now you know why I was so emotional when you walked in. Now you know why it's so important that you fulfill all your promises as an athlete. I want to be the best I can be, Daddy. And sweetheart, you will. I know you will. I mean, I am so connected to you, even more than your sister. I mean, I love your sister with all of my heart. But with you, it's different. I mean, we share the same goals, the same dreams, the same gift. The ones that your grandfather worked and slaved so hard for. You'll win these trophies for him, won't you, sweetheart? Yes, Daddy. Of course I will. That's my little girl. The only regret that I have is that your grandfather never lived long enough to see what a fine young lady you become. I mean, most girls your age get caught up with some guy and they're not focused on what they need to do. But you're special, Wit. You're so special and you're meant to do great things. Daddy! We're in here, Simone. Daddy! Daddy, come quick, it's Mom. She passed out and we can't get her to wake up. My son. My poor baby. Dr. Russell, you just fainted. You're, you're just confused. I tried to stop them from taking you, but I couldn't. You don't know what you're saying. It's me, Chad. Why do you keep calling me your son? We're on the Grand Estate. Yeah, that's right, remember? Teresa's throwing a party tonight for Sheridan and her brother? Well, what happened? What, what, am I, what am I doing here? I don't know. You must have taken a walk or something. And when you came up behind me, I turned around and you screamed and passed out. 
it really shook me up. I mean, you were saying all kinds of stuff that didn't make any sense. Like what? Like you wouldn't believe me if I told you. Did I call you my son? You call me your baby. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. You must think I'm crazy. Uh, I know perfectly well who you are. Uh, I don't know why I would have said that. I think I do. I think I know why you call me your son. Antonio's right. He needs his rest. I'll drive you home. Any time now. You know what? I will call up to the main house and have someone bring down some food. And uh, we'll be on our way. I really should get back to the main house. I don't know how you're taking this, honey. I don't have a choice. Let's go, son. Mother, Luis won't be able to stand the fact that Sheridan's spending the night in his brother's bed, and he'll have to turn to me for comfort. And I'll be waiting right here when he does. 